Hey adventurers, today we're taking a look at the most basic and classic example of aggressive plays, pushing. Now when we say pushing, or when you hear someone in the game telling you to push a team, we usually think of a W key playstyle, and sometimes even associate people who push as not playing smart. However, the goal of this video is to hopefully shed a clear light on what exactly pushing is, why we have to do it, and how to most effectively conduct a push strategy. First things first, I'm sure a lot of us are familiar with the concept of pushing, but my goal is to provide a more objective look at the strategy here. Pushing is essentially when you or your team commit to closing the distance between you and your targets of the push. This could refer to your opponents in the match, a specific POI or vantage point, or any position in any of the maps we're playing in Apex. I want to focus on some key words I've said here, those being commit to closing the distance. If you are pushing a POI or any position on the map, then you're looking to be situated on that position. When I'm talking about pushing your opponents, I am also referring to being literally on top of them. Essentially, pushing is to bring your targets of your push to a position known as close range. This greatly distinguishes between legitimate push plays and plays made by players that consider themselves to be pushing but are still engaged in a rifle battle 50 meters away from their targets. Curtly and basically put, when we're talking about pushing, what we're really referring to is to have three people stick their gun muzzles up against someone's butt cheeks and holding the fire button. Now that we've shed some light on what pushing really is, we can talk about why we want or need to push anything in the game. In order to understand why, we first need to understand the basic situation a player is put into when one is loaded into an Apex game. That situation being that you are stuck with 59 other people yes, including your teammates sometimes, that want to absolutely and utterly destroy you. Now, in order to get out of the situation, what you want to do is survive. Now, there are many ways to survive, and pushing is simply one way of doing so. Just to further clarify, when I'm talking about pushing, I'm not talking about the players that are diving into a battle without consideration for positioning, timing, third parties, and the health of their opponents. A legitimate push requires good timing, positioning, and explosive movement to get the job done right. The goal of pushing does not differ whatsoever from the goal of playing defensively, or from a safe distance. The goal at the end of the day is to survive. Now that being the goal, some would argue that it's contradicting to put yourself into a gunfight for the sake of survival, but this is where the BR magic happens. You are eventually going to run into opponents in Apex, as the play zone closes smaller and smaller. If you try to avoid every single fight in a game, you are going to be constantly on the move, taking shots from multiple teams, eventually resulting in your demise. If you try to camp a vantage point or position yourself well, you will also get pushed by enemy teams that want your position on the map. If you try to conduct a rat strategy, well, then you're just going to be a rat, and rats rarely win. That brings us to the real answer to our question, why do we want to push? We want to push because we want to actively expedite the conclusion of a fight to prevent being caught in crossfire, eliminate pressure from other teams, free up space for positioning as we continuously approach endgame, and, if you're playing competitively, getting kills or assist points while doing all of this. Now that we've talked about what pushing is, what to push for, why we want to push, we can finally talk about how we can most effectively conduct a legitimate push strategy. There are many ways to push, and since this is the basic guide to pushing, I want to focus on techniques that you can use regardless of your legend pick, team composition, or things that are out of your control sometimes. This is the bread and butter and the most basic pushing technique that you will need to build into your muscle memory right away, and that is pushing from cover to cover. You'll need time to practice this to fully build it into the way you play. But in a BR like Apex where you can't construct cover out of thin air like games like Fortnite, you have to rely on the natural cover that is spread around you. You have to look at your surrounding environment and look at possible pathings of a push in order to reach your enemies in a timely and safely manner. This is actually harder to pull off than it seems, and it takes some finesse. But once you're able to pull this off, you're able to level up your fighting capabilities significantly, resulting in way more wins. The other technique that I want to cover is utilizing your throwables. There are three grenades so far in Apex, and we all know them. There are the Arcstar, the Frag, and the Thermite. Each grenade is used for a different situation. For simplicity, when we are talking about pushing, I recommend using the Arc Star and the Frag grenades. You can leave the Thermite out for now. 
You want to carry at least two grenades in your inventory as frequent as you can, especially the arc stars. In my opinion, the stick function of the arc stars, the sound it makes before explosion, and the AoE slow it brings upon detonation all make it a great tool to keep your opponents from peeking and shooting at you when you are pushing them. Utilize your throwables to zone your opponents out of areas prior and during your push to avoid taking as much damage as possible from them. I hope this cleared up some existing misconceptions about pushing, the advantages and disadvantages pushing can bring you. This strategy heavily relies on your fighting capabilities, but it doesn't matter if you're good or bad at aiming or shooting. Employing a legitimate push strategy will train your timing, aim sense, and your shooting all together. I hope you found this discussion useful, and please let me know down in the comment section below if you want to include something I didn't go over, or any questions or concerns you have regarding the topic. If you'd like to see me cover a subject specifically, please let me know in the comments as well. Set fast adventures, see you in the next one.